first system overview uh, this is some images or pictures for uh, the main unit from inside and this is the front side of the PBX to demo and show interfaces located on this side from left to right we'll find status led which is must be run green for the system to be in a proper working condition second led is pbx mode which <coughs> will be light and red if system collects any minor or major problems here is the initialized switch which we will use for the first time we use the system to initialize the system to our region default setting and of course we can use it again to erase all programming and come back to the initial default setting <coughs> this led will flicker during connection between ns and lan this is the lan connection port which will be used to connect this PPX to the LAN or directly to our PC or laptop for programming. This USB interface is used for system upgrade or to have a backup of system programming. This card is an optional card and needed if you want to expand capacity of the system or to use uh, in case of we want to expand uh, to expand the uh, system capacity and using expansion units this stacking card gave us three ports to connect more units exactly three expansion units for the system to be reached to the maximum capacity these slots is for expansion this is a basic slot which is for six analog co line of course these ports can be assigned to be an external music hold interface or an external pager interface and in each main unit we have these two slots for expansion we can add one digital or analog co line interface and of course we can use one door phone and door opener card per unit only one expansion c o line digital or analog and only one door phone and door opener card can be added to each cabinet this interface is for two digital phones 
and they will give us another two digital phones through digital etc device port as we will see these five ports will give us interface for connecting 16 singing line telephone and it comes initially equipped with this unit these two slots are for expansion and we'll explain soon how to use these slots this about the front panel interfaces as we mentioned before this is a stacking card KXNS5130 which must be installed to use three expansion units like this expansion units is connected to the main unit through RG RJ45 cables so from each expansion unit to the main unit we must connect RG45 straight cable <coughs> to connect the expansion unit maximum three expansion units can be connected we have three interfaces for three expansion units this is the maximum configuration which you can get from KXNS 500 but we can expand capacity more than this by some means which will be described later or uh, not necessary in this video but it will be explained in in coming videos inshallah we explain that the main unit comes with six CO line analog CO line interfaces initially equipped with the main unit these three ports gave us interface to connect each port gave us connection for two CO line <coughs> or two external music and hold source or and two external pager each port individually can be used for co line or music and hold and or pager this interface gives us two digital extensions 101 and 102 <coughs> each of them can give us another digital extension 101 can give us 103 through digital etc device port 102 which is the second port second digital board which connected to the main unit through this interface can give us another extension another digital extension of course with a different programming different number different class of service nothing is common between them except the connection port just the physical port but they are different completely they are two different extensions
all connection for CO lines, music and hold, external pager, all of these connection and interfaces uses direct or standard RJ45 cables. <coughs> For analog CO line ports, any port can be programmed as external pager or music on hold, and it comes by default for CO line connection for analog CO line connection. <coughs> These five ports will give us 16 single line telephone interfaces so we can connect <coughs> two single line telephone in this port it is written here one and two <coughs> SLT number three and four from this port from 5 to 8 from this port from 9 to 11 here from <coughs> 13 to 16 here in details this port will give us a connection for single line telephone extension 105 and 106 and this for 107 and 8 and this for 9 10 11 12 this for 13 14 15 16 and the last one for extension from 117 to 120 <coughs> single line telephone numbers starting from 105 by default if we select numbering extension numbering to start from 101 and if we select during initial setting that the extension numbers starting from 201 so single line phones will start with with 205 from 101 to 104 is four digital extensions as we mentioned before main unit comes with six analog trunk interface and slot 4 and 5 for digital or analog CO line expansion and only one door phone card so the rule is we can use only one door phone card with unit per unit I can install two door phone cards or I can't install two CO line cards. Just one card, digital or analog. This is the analog expansion card which can be installed to give ad additional sex or to add six analog trunk lines <coughs> and this card is for digital E1 ports or PRI ports card this card supports the two function in the same time and by programming we will select which function will be used again only one 
door phone card can be installed per unit and only one expansion trunk card per main unit or expansion unit only one analog or digital this is analog trunk and one door phone if you want to use expansion slots to expand system capacity or one door phone card and one digital trunk card so you can use digit one digital trunk card or one analog trunk card and only one door phone card these two slots number six and seven is for extension expansions type of expansion cards which can be used for this unit or with this system of course with main unit or expansion unit face type for hybrid digital line card which supports supports the inter supports interface for for digital phone and for single line telephone and another four digital phones through digital etc device port another type dlc8 which will support eight digital extension dlc16 will support 16 digital extension mslc will support eight single line telephone with fsk color id type and message waiting lamp control this is m for message message waiting lamp control m single line card eight interface and mslc which is a double of this will support 16 extension single line telephone extensions with fsk type color id color id type is fsk only for telephones not for extension external lines please notice the difference please be careful when using msl c16 or dlc16 these cards only can be connected here in slot 06 in this case slot 07 cannot be used at all as the figure indicate and as we said before main unit comes with 16 single line telephone another 16 extension can be added digital phones or single line phones or both of them but only one 16 expansion card digital or analog can be connected with each unit only in slot number six and in this case slot seven will not be used at all for any other type of cards or any other use 